Right, I haven't used the uh, swirly gig, that thing there, for quite a while now. Uh, so what I'm going to give it a whirl now. Just using the same colours as I've, as I've previously done. The orange, magenta and silver. But I'm also adding a few different colours too. If you've never seen this before, there's a tree coming up for you. <laughs> Joking. I like this because I can direct the colours where I want them. Well, to a certain extent anyway. I'll just let that work its way through. Looking for any leftover colours that I may have as well. I have a green here. So that in. You can't tell at the moment, but showing the final finished object. Just need some purple on this side. And a little orange in here to balance it a bit. Can have some silver at both sides. Just takes a little bit longer than a normal pour. It does leave some fantastic patterns in the paint. Just going to lift this side up a little. Try not to knock it all over. Just add a little bit more white. What I think I'll do, I'll leave it as it is there with the negative space. And I will leave it to uh, for the Swally Gig 20 itself. So what I'll do, I'll prop in a time lapse. So here we are, about half an hour later, I forgot all about it. And that's what it looks like. In the end. 
can't say it's my best one ever, but let's have some close-ups. 